Hi everyone, my name is Jeff and I work at Anything Bright Farms and I wanted to share a recommendation uh, with all of you today. Um, so I think like a lot of you, the, the last you know week especially has been you know very anxious. Um, every time you turn on the news it's, it's easy to get overwhelmed. And so um, when that happens to me, uh, one of the things I like to turn to um, is science um, to give me sort of a, a broader perspective on things and, and take me out of my sort of day-to-day -day concerns um, and worries. And I think, you know, one of the, the best communicators of science um, is Carl Sagan. Um, and so over the last week, I've been reading one of his books called Pale Blue Dot, a Vision of the Human Future in Space. Um, and if you're familiar with that phrase, it's probably because um, there's a very famous picture, um, there's actually two, but that's sort of a separate story, um, uh, but there's a very famous picture called the Pale Blue Dot, and it was taken by the Voyager spacecraft um, out in the orbit of Neptune, um, and it turned its camera back to look at Earth, and at that distance, Earth is just a pale blue dot, it's this tiny little pixel. Um, and so Sagan in this book um, writes a very famous sort of um, tribute to that picture, which I can read just a brief little excerpt from, um, but I think it's very relevant for kind of what we're all going through today and, you know, over the last few weeks. Um, so he says, look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who has ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species live there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. So I think uh, that's something that's you know been on my mind a lot uh, the last few days, um, and especially the the concluding words there that uh, you know we're all in this together and we all need to to deal kindly and charitably with one another um, in these circumstances. Um, the rest of the book is, as the subtitle sort of indicates, um, Sagan's uh, dream for uh, human uh, future in space, um, and so it's it's really fascinating um, as all of his works are. And uh, it's, it's interesting too, I mean, this book is going on almost 30 years old at this point. Um, and so some of the stuff that he talks about uh, has already happened or happened differently. Um, so for example, he talks about um, the Cassini spacecraft, um, which went to Saturn um, and its moons. And, and we learned you know, so much about um, you know, the Saturn system from the, the Cassini spacecraft. And, and in Pale Blue Dot, it's just a, um, a, something that is going to happen in the future, maybe. And so to, to read it now, knowing that this has happened, that the, you know, this dream has come true, is really interesting and, and gratifying. It sort of, it shows you, I think, what, what we're capable of when we put our minds to it and, and what science can, can do at its best. Um, and so I think, again, these are all things that are, are helpful to remind ourselves of nowadays. Um, so if you like Carl Sagan um, or you're, you're looking for a, the cosmic perspective on things, um, I can't recommend Pale Blue Dot enough. Um, it is available as an ebook uh, through Overdrive or Libby. Um, it, as of this recording, it's still available. Um, there are several other Sagan books that are available through Overdrive, um, including uh, The Demon Haunted World, um, The Dragons of Eden, which is one of my personal favorites, um, his novel Contact. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're in a Sagan mood, where there's definitely many resources. Um, visit anythinglibraries.org um, to, to check them out. Um, you can go to the stream and download uh, section for some um, guidance 
guidance and uh, directions on how to use OverDrive um, if you've never done so before. Um, and there are also plenty of uh, videos of Sagan on YouTube. Um, part of the Payable.audiobook, audiobook, I believe, is available for free on YouTube. So you can check that out. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you enjoy that. I hope that kind of uh, provides some diversion and, and maybe even some hope for you uh, while we're all stuck at home. And um, and yeah, stay safe out there, and thanks for watching, and uh, be well.